Hi everyone, we're going to find the limit using L'Hopital's rule, where the limit as x approaches uh, 1 from the right of x to the power of 1 divided by 1 minus x. So it has the indeterminate form 1 uh, to the power of infinity. So we're going to use this formula here. Instead of f of x here, we're going to use y. But let's go ahead and um, look at this. We're going to write this as y equals um, x to the power of 1 divided by 1 minus x. And then we're going to uh, take the natural log of both sides. So you have L and a y. And on this side, we're going to uh, pull the power down. So this will be 1 divided by 1 minus x times ln of y. ln of x, sorry. And to simplify this, that would be uh, ln of x divided by 1 minus x. Now, keep in mind when we do this, what we're really going to be doing is we're really going to be finding the limit as x approaches 1 from the right of ln of y. Eventually, we're going to need y, not ln of y, so that's why we're going to use this formula here. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. This equals the limit as x approaches 1 from the right of ln of x divided by 1 minus x. We're going to apply L'Hopital's rule and take the derivative of both the numerator and the denominator. So when you do that, you're going to get for the numerator 1 divided by x and for the denominator this is just going to be negative 1. So uh, go ahead and applying the limit. Uh, when you plug in 1, you're going to get this equals negative 1. All right, so remember this negative 1 is the limit as x approaches 1 um, from the right of ln of y equals negative 1. Now we're going to use our formula and write this as the limit as x approaches uh, 1 from the right of x to the power of 1 divided by 1 minus x equals the limit as x approaches 1 from the right of e to the power of ln of y. And the reason we want that is we have the answer for ln of y, but we need y. And if you write e to the power of ln of y, well, that just equals y. So when we write this out, we're going to use our substitution. This is going to be e. Um, and remember, this was uh, negative 1. So we're going to get e to the power of negative 1, which equals 1, divided by e. And that is your final answer. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.